it's Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts. You guys probably saw the last video I did that compared some of the different rust removers that are on the market. Um, we did metal rescue, rust release, evapo rust, and we did a vinegar solution. Um, so what we did with each of these was have a container, um, put submerged, completely submerged parts, tools, that type of stuff in each one for different periods of time um, to see which one worked the best. These three all worked really well. I again thought rust release was the best of the three. It worked the fastest um, and did a really, really nice job. So people have asked us though, what happens if you can't submerge a part? What if you have part of a frame rail or you have some larger item that you can't maybe buy 55 gallons of rust release to put it in? Um, there are different products on the market. Some of them are gel based where you can like paint it on, let it set for a while and then uh, take it off. Um, you can use like a navel jelly or you can use different products like that. But if you already have one of these products uh, in the liquid form, we thought why not try to soak a rag in it put the rag on the item and wrap it to keep the moisture sealed in um, and then see what happens. So that's what we're going to do. So I got this old piece of metal. You can see it here. It's part of um, a roof or a shed or something. Um, the top of it still has some paint on it and then it's slightly rusted here and it gets heavier and rust in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak a rag in each of these three uh, solutions. We're going to put the ra each rag on each section of this, wrap it in plastic wrap and let it set for an hour and then we'll check it and then we'll, after that we'll see how it goes. Uh, we might have to let it set longer or maybe it's going to work really well. Um, we do know that if you have just a little bit of surface rust, we've done this before, I've done it before, um, you can take a rag, put a little bit of rust release on a rag and just wipe it and it will take that little bit of surface rust right off. It doesn't affect the paint or anything around it, but it does take that little bit of rust off. So I have a feeling this is going to work pretty well. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to get a container for each of these, get a rag soaked in it, put it on each one, wrap it in plastic wrap, and then we're going to check it in an hour and see how it goes. Okay, there we go. We got all three wrapped up. There, uh, there's still a little bit of air that gets in there, but for the most part, it's uh, stuck on there. We're gonna give it an hour and see what happens. Okay, here we go. So the moment of truth, let's take a look underneath. Like I said, I already took a peek before, but let's see what these things look like underneath. So uh, metal rescue. You can see there is a little bit of rust and uh, dirt on there. Um, it did start taking some of the rust off. Up here, the lighter rust. Uh, the heavier rust, a little bit of black in some of the pits, but it's still pretty heavily rusted on this side. So um, it doesn't look like it really did a whole lot in that period of time. Now I will say this side um, of the panel was a little bit more rusted than these two. Uh, most of it was down low though, so the top sections across here um, was similar. So this one, not a whole lot. The uh, evapo rust, there's paint, there is rust, um, and dirt all on it. So you can see, I'll get a little bit closer, you can see right where the rag was heavily pressed against it. Um, this was a galvanized, I'm guessing this was a galvanized piece of steel. Um, so this is not surprising that it took a lot of this off. So you can see it definitely made a difference. I mean, when you look at this side versus here, um, definitely took it off. You can even see down in here where the, the uh, heavier portions, portions of the rag were sitting against it and the rust had, uh, had been taken off. And then the rust release. It looks to be the same. Uh, rust and dirt here. You can see some paint taken off of it here. And then uh, a lot of rust taken off down here. The one thing I do notice here down in this lower section where the heavy rust was, it's, it's black. It's pretty black so you can see it already converted or started converting a lot of the rust um, that's down in this section. The one from the evapo rust, um, I see a little bit of black down here, not a whole lot, um, but it does look like it started converting it. And again, over on the metal rescue side, there, there is a little bit of black in some of the, the pits, but not as much as what I'm seeing here. Um, and the rust release. Now again, this was after about 10 hours, so 
for what it's worth, you know, you can let any of these products sit a little bit longer. Um, and I'm sure they'll do a better job. But I think that's pretty interesting. Um, here, if you rub it, you can see it's even taking a little bit more off. And again, these rags weren't pressed up firmly. I just kind of loosely put them on there, wrapped it in the, in the plastic wrap. So that's why you're seeing um, all these grooves. I think uh, what's really interesting is it looks like this process would definitely work. So if you have a chassis or something that you can't fully submerge, um, I would definitely try this process. Um, I would get the rags, I would cut them to size, to the size that you need, lay them flat so that they're evenly against the surface that you're trying to uh, take the rust off of, put some sort of plastic wrap or something else over it, um, or put the rags there, put something against it, and then plastic wrap to seal the moisture in, and then let it sit for a, you know, whatever period of time, obviously depending on the amount of rust that you have. But uh, yeah, it was an interesting test. Um, again, it might be a little bit hard to see because of the reflections in here, but uh, there you go. I think it did. I think it did a pretty good job for uh, you know again just soaking a couple rags and sticking it on there. So um, hopefully that helps you guys uh, make a decision on if it's something that you want to try. Um, out of the three products, I would actually say the Rust Release and the Evapor Rust did a very similar job, a little bit better than what the Metal Rescue did. But again. Um, let them set for a little bit longer and maybe you get a different result. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped. Uh, appreciate you subscribing to the channel and uh, commenting below. If you uh, have any questions about what you saw here, if you want to see us do any more tests, we definitely will do that. Comment below and we'll uh, try to do as many uh, different types of tests as we can. And thanks for watching.